Some new information is emerging in the investigation into that tragic fire that claimed four lives in Kettering. This was the scene Thursday morning at the home on Craig Drive in Kettering. Flames left the home in ruins. This is what the scene looks like today. There's literally nothing left, and tonight the investigation into what started it continues. Alexa Ashwell is working our top story live in Kettering. And Alexa, what have we learned? Megan, first I want to show you this makeshift memorial that's been growing out with out of what was once the Mobley family's home throughout the day. Stuffed animals, flowers, and notes, condolences from residents here in Kettering. Right now, the state fire marshal's office tells me they are waiting on information and results from the coroner in order to move forward with their investigation. A couple of things we are right now waiting on confirmation for is what exactly sparked this fire and where in this now destroyed home. Shock over what's left of the Mobley family home is wearing off in this Kettering neighborhood. The tragic reality of a mother, two young sons, and their grandfather killed sinks deeper. The state fire marshal says there were no working smoke detectors in the home to alert the family in time. That's determined through scene examination and witness statements, both from any potential survivors and the first responders themselves. I talked with the state fire marshal's public information officer out of Columbus. Investigators don't know when the investigation will be complete. Right now, they're waiting on information from the coroner. That should help to determine um, the cause of death, uh, which will then be used in our investigation. Residents continue to pass by the Craig Drive home. Next door neighbors began work on repairing their homes. A tarp covers damage to this home. This one, the owner tells me, has been declared a total loss and will be torn down. Still, their hearts and minds are with the Mobley family. Investigators are equally as troubled by the tragedy and stress to other families. Check your smoke detectors and always have an escape plan. It's very important that everyone have a working smoke detector in their home and also an escape plan with two ways out. It's great to get with your family or the people that you live with and make sure that you have and practice an escape plan so everyone knows what to do in a situation like this when you have an emergency. Now, the state fire marshal's office did not want to estimate when this investigation would be complete. Again, they are waiting on information from the coroner. I contacted the coroner's office. Right now, they are not releasing any information. Meanwhile, the community continues to mourn the loss of these four lives. New at 6, I'll have more ways people are chipping in. Reporting live in Kettering, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.